I wish there were more note blocks, you know, with different sounds. Oh, what's this? Place note block one. Hmm. Let's try it out. Guess I'll push the button. Yay, different sound. Hello everybody, it's Minecraft Go 5 here, and yeah, I made a uh, note blocks with different sounds in vanilla Minecraft. It doesn't use any resource packs, it just uses command blocks here. So this giant line of command blocks there, and these here to spawn the command blocks in, as you saw earlier. Uh, which it looks like I need to actually place that back. Right there. So, yeah. He uses armor stands. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push this button because I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I love that sound. So I'll go ahead and, and explain how this works. So over here, we have these command blocks, and in them, we have execute at ename equals place note block to to do slash summon armor stand that's invisible, no gravity, and custom name nb2, which is note block 2. And we have the same thing for note block 1 and also the spawn egg place note block 1. So this goes through 1 through 16 because that's all the sensors. We have 0.0, .0 all the way up to 2.0. And yes, there are some missing. So it goes from 0.0, .0 to 0 0.6 because there's no difference in between those. They're exactly the same so if I were to put 0 0.1 0 0.2 they'd sound exactly the same so I just didn't add them and we have a repeater here that's flashing along with this and it's going into these command blocks it says execute at e name equals nv1 so note block 1 to kill at e name equals place note block note block 1 that's in a radius of 2 so what that's for is when you place the egg down it kills all um, place note block one mobs in a radius of one of that so when you spawn it it instantly dies so that's what this timer does and now this very long one I kinda cut it into sections here so this first one we're executing NB3 or all the note block armor stands to summon falling sand that has time of zero drop item zero and tile ID 25 which is note block and motion 0 0.04 just to make it look like it's a block. I don't think that really matters, but I don't know. I still do. It. And yeah, it has up for all 16 uh, armor stands. Then here we just have execute all the armor stands to do set block barrier. So that's why you can walk on them, and that's why they actually go through the repeaters. Um, you may not have known it, but the repeaters actually go through barriers so without the barriers this is just falling sand but with them it's like a block that you can stand on and it won't make the note block make a noise which is why I use them so they look like actual note blocks but they're not if you right click them it won't do anything so that's what that's for and then last the longest line of commands here which is detecting if there is redstone going into them. So there's actually a couple problems, like a lot of problems with this whole note block thing, which I'll explain in a minute. But we're executing at E, name equals MB1, so we're executing every single one, 1 through 16, to do four commands for each one. So yeah, you do the math, 4 times 16. Anyway, so we're executing the arm stand to detect one block below it to be iron block so this only works on iron blocks so if I go ahead and put this down on sandstone and try to turn it on it won't do anything there oops did that again oh well <laughs> whoops there so if I place it on iron block it will work and um, yeah, that's one of the problems. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> so it's doing it. F uh, let's see. Actually, get back here. So if it has an iron block under it, it's going to execute the armor stand in a radius of one to detect um, one block. So these are all different. 
So it's detecting, let's just say, this block right here to be powered repeater and number like three. So it has to be facing this way, it has to be on, and it has to be right here beside the armor stand. If it's not, it won't do anything. But if it does find it in one of these four repeaters here, then it will place on note.playing 0.0. .0. So that these four command blocks here are just for one armor stand, number one. This is for number two, and we had to change it, the pitch up, and we had to change the location of the, or we had to change it from NB1 to NB2, and we had to do that for all 16, which took quite a while, but it's pretty cool when it's done. So I'll go ahead and show you a couple glitches. So if you place a redstone block down or anything, and you keep the power on, it will just keep playing the note over and over again, which is nice if you want a longer note than just a single one like this but if you're trying to make like an entire song with this probably not there might be a way to fix it I don't know <laughs> I tried but it didn't work that well so yeah another problem is you can't just place a redstone block next to it or you can't put a button on it or anything nothing will work can't even place a button on it you have to put it next to it so the only way to get this to turn on is repeaters. Of course, there's a way around that, but I didn't really want to do this again, like, all over again. I would if I was making, like, a one command block thing, but probably not. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for this video, and thanks for watching.